Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so the first thing is to uh, is to check that the limit of uh, of this uh, heads towards zero as n travels from two to infinity. So um, so as as n gets bigger and bigger and bigger towards infinity, this is just going to get bigger and bigger. Uh, natural log, uh, natural log is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Square is the the whole point is this whole the, the whole denominator will just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So one divided by something that keeps on growing, uh, the whole thing will will uh, will head towards will head towards zero. So the limit of this, the limit of this, the uh, the limit of this is actually indeed zero. So uh, so this is good. So that's done. Second part. Um, Check that, uh, check that this thing here is continuous. Because ultimately we want to be able to compare this to this. We're, there's a theorem that says that if this thing here diverges, then this thing here will, will also diverge. If this thing here converge, this thing here will converge. But in order for us to use that theorem, we need to check these three. So the first thing to check is to, to, um, to check that it's continuous. Um, to check, checking if it's continuous is really you asking, when will this thing break down? Well, this thing here breaks down when the den when the denominator equals zero. So, so the next question is, when will the denominator be zero? Well, here you've got this thing here from two to um, from two to uh, to infinity. This thing here is never zero. Uh, from two to infinity, natural log is is like this. This is one. This is two. From two to infinity, from two onwards. From two onwards, it's never going to be zero. So, uh, so the so the denominator will never be zero. So this thing here is continuous. Is is it positive? By looking at this, you can see this is positive. Um, you you're gonna the, the whole thing will be positive. Um, making the whole thing here positive. Well, it is going to be positive. Is it decreasing? Well, as n moves as um as x moves from from two to infinity, this is just going to keep on growing. This thing here keeps on growing. Squared, squared. This thing squared will will just keep on growing. The whole denominator keeps on growing. One divided by something that keeps on growing. Yes, it is going to decrease. The whole thing here is going to decrease. Now that these three have been satisfied, we can now apply the theorem. That theorem where where it says that if this thing here diverge, this will diverge. If this thing here converge, then this thing here will converge. So the next question is, will this uh, will this thing here Diverge or will it converge? So we need, we need to evaluate this from two to infinity. As it heads towards infinity, will will this thing converge or will it diverge? So let's integrate it. So let's try and evaluate this now. We we need to integrate this. So you could use substitution, but learn to do it by glancing. So so visualize this as being uh, one over x. So that's like one bubble here, and then and then here you've got one over. Uh, natural log of x uh, squared squared. So 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 vis visualize this as being one over x, and then so that's one bubble, and then you've got your your natural log uh, uh, to the power of minus two. That's what you've got at, at the moment. Um, so so you're really looking for something. Well, 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 you you hang on. Let me tidy this up. Let me tidy this up. Um, you trying to integrate this is really you searching for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it will give you this. Well, if you look at this here, well, well, always try and keep an eye on something being the exact derivative of another thing. You see, this thing here, this bubble here, is the exact derivative of this bubble here. So always try and keep an eye on that. So if I were to give you, let's say, uh, uh, natural log, uh, natural, let, 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 hang on, let, let's say if I were to give you this. Let's say if I were to give you to the power of minus one bubble to the power of minus one. If if you were to differentiate this, you will have well the minus one would go down here, so it would be minus one. The bubble stays intact. The power gets minus by one, and then and then you times the derivative of the bubble itself. Um, which well if if you put so so if if, if you put um if you put the natural log into uh in into this bubble here, differentiate it, it will be natural log here. And then, and then now you've got to times the derivative of the bubble itself, which is one over x. So if, if you look at this here, one over x here matches up with this one over x here. This thing here matches up exactly with this thing here. 
So, so do it by glancing. You could use substitution, but if you can master it by, by just glancing, you can integrate it a lot faster. So, uh, so, so now we need to negate this negative one here. So, uh, so make this to be your initial guess. Now, if, if you were to differentiate this, if you were to differentiate this, it, it will give you this thing here. Okay, so, so integrate, integrate this, it will give you minus 1 over uh, natural log of x. Uh, think about it, it or, or use whichever method you want. Um, you, you can use substitution if you want. So integrate this, it will then give you this. So now um, if you put a very, very big number into here, um, natural log of a very, very big number is going to be a very, very big number. So one divide, well, negative 1 divided by a very, very big number is going to be it's going to head towards zero, and then and then put two into here. So uh, so this will be uh, this. Well, well, you can see that this thing here is going to head towards a finite number. This number here. So it's it's not going to uh, to diverge. This this integral here will will actually converge because it heads towards a definite number here. It's um, yeah. So this thing here will converge. So what that means is. Um, that theorem where it says that if this thing here diverge, then this will diverge. If this thing here converge, then this thing here will converge. Well, we've just established that this integral here will converge. Therefore, the series must also converge. So this thing here will converge.